All right, guys, today we're going to be changing a battery in this 2019 Ford F-150. This is going to be the 5.0 liter V8 version. This is just a basic XL, nothing crazy about it. So it's just going to be your basic battery. This is the AGM battery, the AGM technology, and it's going to be 760 cc's here. So this is going to be pretty similar to all your other trucks, all the other uh, F-150s at least um, in that time frame. Most vehicles will be about the same way. There's nothing too crazy about this. Um, before this, I had a Chevy Silverado 2015, and it had a lot more things going on. That has like a big uh, package that goes on top of the battery that you have to take off, and it's also located in this back corner, and there's a bar across it, and you have to remove that. This is going to be a really simple change here. We'll just undo the two terminals here, pull the battery out, and put the new one back in, and then hook up the two terminals. So the only tools you're going to need today are a pair of gloves, a flathead screwdriver, and just any sort of wrench that can get these uh, two nuts off here. And if you want some safety glasses as well, those always come in handy. So the first thing we're gonna do here is actually uh, remove some of these wires just to help them get out of the way and make it a little easier um, when we actually take the battery out. So there's these little Christmas tree things that are everywhere. So there's one here in the front will pop off and then there's one that's also on that's attached to the port or the box that the battery's sitting on. So we'll pop both of those off. So all you gotta do is take your flathead screwdriver here and put it behind there. And we'll just pop those two off and then that should be ready to go. All right, so as you can see, I can get that one off. That one came off pretty easy. This one's actually kind of being a pain here. So I'm actually going to just leave that one in before I uh, break it. So I'll just leave that there and we'll see if we can work around it. So the idea was just to get that off. So then we could have more room to set that off to the side, but let's take that bolt off and we'll see uh, where that wire sits at. All right. So we got the negative terminal off here and as you can see, like I said, if we could get that off, that would sit down lower, but that might be okay just to stay away from. Uh, we're just trying to keep it from touching that when we put a, the new one back on. So once we get that connected, we connect that back on. We just don't want it touching any metal while we're working on it. So this is how that bolted or that attached to the terminal here. So that's going to be on the bottom and then it goes through that part there. And then there's going to be a washer on top of that and your nut. So. You can just sit them right up here and then you won't lose them. And now we'll move on to the positive terminal. All right, so you can just flip up your little cover there. And we're going to take this bolt off here. All right, so now with the positive one, it's a little different than the negative one. There's a little different setup here. So this is kind of what we got going on. That goes, that little part there goes around the terminal. And this is your bolt that you're going to unscrew. Um, so when you unscrew that, this part on the bottom, oops, there we go. This part on the bottom actually spins with it. So you actually don't have to take it completely off. So, um, so. There we go. So when you spin the top, it spins the whole thing. So you don't need to loosen it or take the bolt uh, nut completely off. You can just take it and that just was able to shimmy right off of there. So that's kind of what you're dealing with. You don't have to take it completely off. So we'll see how that goes back on when we get the new battery in. But now that we got that out of the way, let's uh, move some of these things. So we got that kind of stuck down there um, behind your PCV valve there. And then your negative can be over here and kind of wedged up underneath this plastic thing. So this look, this can come off either before or after. This is just your fabric that goes uh, around the battery that protects it from cold and heat. So I think I might just take the battery out first and then we will remove that. But before we uh, try to remove the battery, this part right here needs to be removed. This is kind of the thing that holds the battery into place. So it's kind of a hex head up there. So just take your wrench and you'll turn it counterclockwise until that part gets removed.
and there you go see it's just kind of a wedge there so that'll get bolted in and that keeps the battery in place there whoops there you go okay so now that we got that out of the way we should be able to just lift the battery straight out it will be heavy so there we go and there you have it that's the battery out there so now you can clean this up there's i got a lot of mouse poop and stuff in there uh, but there's the hole that that bolt goes through that wedges the battery in place there so and then there is the battery and there's that cloth again so now if you just lift the battery straight up that should come off and you can just put it right on your new battery so this is the battery we're installing today duralast platinum agm from AutoZone. uh same size and everything the 760 cold cranking amps so and so it should be the same exact size for that fabric so now i'll sit that back in and once we got it cleaned and we'll put the fabric back on we'll put the fabric on and then put the battery back in and then we'll do the reverse and hook it all back up all right now we just got to grab the new battery and put it in make sure you lift it up in the right direction so your positive terminals over there your negative terminals over there and they're both on that side so Again, it's going to be heavy, so just make sure you get it in the right uh, in the right direction the first time, so you don't have to take it back out. Um, I'm actually not going to put the fabric on until afterwards. I've realized that you can fit it on over the battery, so it doesn't need to be on right away. So we'll just get this battery in, and then we'll put the fabric on. There we go. And the fabric will just go right on over top of it, like so. Make sure it doesn't catch on the edge over there and fold up like that did. So, there we go. So, again, positive on that corner. Now we're going to put the block back in here that wedges this in. So, this has a little lip here like that. So at the bottom of the battery, it has a little lip that sticks out. So make sure this part is towards the inside and the wedge, there we go, is towards the outside of the vehicle. So it'll go in just like that and then wedge, uh, screw that back down. go until it's pretty snug and then you can give the battery a test there make sure it's not moving the good thing is is with these uh the uh, agm batteries they can they're really good um going side to side they're, they don't spill at all so you can even up install them upside down if you want to but and they won't leak anything so um so now that we got that back installed you're good to go now we can re-hook up the terminal. So the first thing we're gonna do is hook up the positive one. So remove your cover here, and you can put this on your old battery if you plan on keeping it or if you're planning on returning it just to have a cover for that. So now the same process, we're gonna put that back on and tighten down that one bolt again, and then we'll do the negative terminal. This The new batteries usually have a plastic cover over the negative terminal, so you just pull that up, it's kind of like you're opening orange juice or something. Um, pull that up, take the plastic off, and then we'll put the negative on and tighten that one down. There we go, just hand tight, that'll be all right. Put the cover back on there, your positive terminal is done now. And now the negative terminal. So again, it says it's got this little pull tab on it. So pull that up, there you go, just like that. Again, you can use that for your old battery if you'd like. And now just sit this one on top and connect as well. Before you connect it, make sure to slide this through the bottom here. There you go. And now you can connect. And then put your washer on. 
and your nut. All right, finally got the nut on. It took a little while. Uh, I think that the screw's a little warped at the top there so it wouldn't get on right. Uh, but I found it handy if you take a flathead screwdriver and kind of raise the bottom of that up, then it gives you a little more thread to work with if you can't, if you don't have enough thread to work with right away, otherwise it's pretty low. Um, and then just make sure your terminal is, or it's all the way down on the terminal and tight. And then the piece underneath there should be parallel with everything else. So that should be nice and tight. And the only thing you got left to do is Put your uh, Christmas trees back in, just like that. And there you go, you should be good to go. Now start your truck, make sure it starts. Everything's good. Um, when I plugged in the negative terminal, the lights did flicker a little bit, so that should be normal. Just showing that the uh, truck is hooked back up to power. But otherwise, if you guys have any questions on changing your battery, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time.